G'day guys, how's it going? It's Cody Orville coming to you guys with a video. I haven't been like thrifting and I haven't been in the eBay game for quite some time, but I am kind of motivated at the moment to get back into it and get some stuff listed. Uh, I have a lot of inventory that's just been sitting in my cupboard, taking up a heap of space because we have a lot of downtime because of COVID and stuff. I'm not traveling, I'm not, you know, out there on my bike traveling around the world and stuff. I feel like it's a good time while I have some downtime to, you know, have a look in my cupboard and see what I haven't sold from my eBay business previously and go through it with you guys and maybe not exactly list it in real time, but you know, we can go, um, I've got my setup here on my computer with eBay up, go on the computer there as we pull out the items and just do some research and see what we could get for them. Um, looking at the comps and the sold listings and stuff and maybe it could be some kind of educational video um, And hopefully you guys enjoy it, but yeah, we'll see how this goes. I think I've got everything set up I have uh, the cupboard over here with all of the eBay inventory this stuff right at the top is a, Like I've sorted it all out and all that stuff is just like eBay clothes and stuff that haven't sold and and isn't really listed um, and then we've got a couple of other pieces here that I kind of took out to keep for myself that I thrifted as well That I might show you guys because they're really some nice pieces, but I actually really love this jacket I might even just keep it to wear for myself, you know, because I really like it that much Um, but anyway guys, yeah, I guess this is uh, I feel like I'm vlogging again. It's really cool Um, so let's uh, sit this camera down and let's get that bag out and we'll start packing unpacking it and seeing uh, what's inside and hopefully, you know, it's um a fun little video for you guys to watch along with. Oh, it's got some shoes. It's heavy. <laughs> Just wrecked the bloody chair. But anyway, we've got this huge bag. I'm going to unpack it and we'll see what's in there. And then I'll just get out these few other pieces that I probably might list as well, you never know. Wow, this feels like old school thrift haul videos. I haven't done some thrifting stuff in a while. I've been wanting to get out and hit the thrift stores and stuff. I'm in like a bit of a rural area. Um, so I kind of need a car to get to where I need to get to. And I've lent my car to my sister because hers is broken down. So she's just using my car to uh, drive to work and stuff and cuz you know, I've been working um, on my business and stuff and been wanting to sort of streamline things and make uh, Independent online income that's completely online, you know That doesn't require me to be dependent on a location or a boss or anything like that. So uh, Most of that's been blogging as you guys probably know who have been watching my past few videos and I'm actually gonna be working on uh, Like a blogging series. So if you guys are interested in that uh, keep an eye out. I'll be releasing a, a bunch of different sort of videos related to how to start a blog um, You know picking a niche actually physically going on the computer and from step one um, From not having a blog to you know setting up a blog going through that whole process And then you know some other tips that I probably thought I wish I knew before starting a blog and all that kind of content um And uh, yeah, I'm hoping to do a webinar with the guys that I took the course with um that income school project 24 course that I took about blogging so if you guys are interested in wanting to learn more about the whole process behind that um, I'll be doing like a, a video with with the the course owners which is pretty pretty exciting um, I've got that coming up soon but uh, yeah I've just been working on my blog and it's been really cool um, every day just been writing content and yeah I've just been you know, not traveling at all, so I just thought I'd give my car to my sister to let her drive around and hopefully uh, her car's fixed in about a month or so and we'll get back to thrifting. It's really exciting. I've been watching a heap of thrifting videos. Um, if you guys don't know already, I'll probably link down below. I had an uh, interview with the two Aussie thrifters who are some thrifters, uh, a thrifting couple in Adelaide and uh, they do some really cool shows and content so definitely check those guys out and make sure you subscribe to their channel uh, I had an interview with those guys and um, since then I've just been sort of trying to rekindle my passion that I have for thrifting um, I kind of put it on the side burners just to you know work on like the blogging and um, some other social media managing stuff and like and all that kind of stuff like ways that I can make income while I'm pedaling my bike around the world and I don't have to rely on you know 
stuffing stuff that I find in the thrift store on my black to sell or something like that because it's completely unscalable and it just doesn't work. But with online, you know, blogging and doing affiliate marketing and yeah, you know, putting ads on the website, creating my own digital products, all that kind of stuff is so scalable on the online, on this online era that we have. So um, anyway, it's really cool. But anyway, guys, let's get into this bag of stuff right here. And uh, I'll set this camera up a bit better. Ugh. Yeah, that's better. Bring the seat down a bit. All right. Um, so I've got this set up. I'll probably go from here to there. But let's uh, have a look and see what we've got in this bag, guys. It's been a while. So let's bring this up here a bit. All right, let's put these over here. Let's get into this bag. Let's see what we've got. Cool. All right, let me just quickly show you. So, this is the bag. It is chockers full. Um, that sun isn't the best, but we've got some shoes. We've got some Jordans. So, we might get into these shoes first. Um, to be honest, guys, I'm not sure if you're the same, but like when you have stock that just has been sitting around forever, you kind of feel demotivated about it and like, because you've just seen it over and over again. And that's kind of the case with this stuff. But I kind of want to just get rid of it all, you know, or, or at least list it and get an eBay store, like this be the basis from the start of a new eBay store. So we can, you know, hit maybe like a 300 item goal or something like that, because around that sort of time, I guess, or around that sort of amount of items is kind of where the store begins to lift off and you start making daily sales and that kind of stuff. Um, I think my whole goal and everything with getting back into eBay and stuff would be, like this is ideal for me, would be like just sourcing stuff that I'm truly passionate about and potentially, you know, around that $100 mark resale price. Hopefully, you know, ideally make $100 profit on each item, but you know, maybe around that $80 profit margin, something like that, and then just have, you know, a couple of hundred items in stock, you know, like a 300 item store or something like that, that's around 300 um, items, that's around, you know, 100 bucks each or something like that. So that's kind of the whole idea that I have, and um, hopefully, yeah, we'll see how we go with that. But Let's, uh, let's get into this stuff and see what we've got here, guys. All right, so what we might do, um, I don't know how long this video is gonna be, but we've got a FootJoy polo shirt right here. Um, I picked up a heap of FootJoy stuff a while back, and um, this is kind of what's left over. So I guess the completed listings might be my old um, polo shirt listings, but we'll see what happens there. So let's jump over to my computer that we have right here that hopefully, yeah, here we go. Um, I kind of had it set up with, all right, let's bring this down. Okay, so that's better. All right, so let's jump over to showing the screen. Show my screen here. All right, sweet. Oh, okay. The matrix. Okay, so hopefully that's showing. I'll just double check. Yep, sweet. Okay, so let's uh, jump into eBay and we'll um, type in FootJoy Polo. It's the Titleist. I forget how it's spelled Titleist. Let's just get that going. Um, so this is like, this is going to be hopefully, maybe it might be like an hour long video. Who knows really? Um, I'm not going to like edit it really that much. So it's just going to be pretty natural, like listing or not quite listing, just sort of researching items as I go along. Um, and you guys can, you know, watch along and hopefully get some value from this. So let's go to used items and we've got some listed and we'll go sold and we'll see what the market demands for such items today. Oh, right there. <laughs> I just realized this is the actual item. Um, it's just sold too. That's right, yeah, I had this listed, no joke. So that's right, yes. Now it all makes sense. I had uh, some items that were listed, um, a few items from this batch that were listed, and this was one of them that sold, but 
Uh, it it's uh clearly wasn't paid for, so um, it sold for eighty nine dollars. I think I took an offer of eighty bucks. So let's probably just re relist this one because they didn't pay for it. <laughs> what a way to start. And uh, yeah, but if you guys ever find like FootJoy stuff, always look out for Titleist. It's this uh, like this logo on the sleeve. I think it's like a pro, the pro option for the golfers. So um, yeah, so just, yeah. So that's about an $80 polo right there. Okay, um, some other stuff we've got here. So the audio is probably gonna be pretty choppy because I'm like auto or audio straight from the camera and then on my mic here and hopefully the mic's good when I'm over here, but we'll see what happens. So this here is super dry. It's a Japanese brand, I believe. Um, and this is like a leather jacket. It's a small leather jacket. Normally it has like a logo at the front here that kind of was torn off and uh, it's got like the Japanese kanji or Japanese um, text right there. Um, so these are pretty nice if you can pick these up fairly cheap. Um, I mean, last time I checked, they sold for around 100 bucks used these type of jackets. Now this is a small jacket, but we'll see what the market demands for a super dry. Super dry leather jacket and let's go, we'll just, we won't do size small and just see what, what's happening. All right, so yeah, nice. Wow. So look at that, guys. So like the hero biker ones, like the actual biker jackets, legit biker jackets that are you know a decent popular size, like medium or large or something. Obviously, almost three hundred bucks right there. And you got one fifty. Um, but let's do the small because it seems like there is enough there to give us some results. Um, yeah, so 75 bucks for a hooded one, extra small. It's exactly the same as what we've got, but we've got a small, obviously. Uh, excellent condition, you know, uh, 50 on a bid, uh, 115. So, you know, 75 bucks, guys. 70 bucks is pretty realistic there. So that's pretty cool. So we're at 80 bucks for the polo, 70 bucks for a, a leather jacket. Also, guys... <laughs> I really like the idea of thrifting or um, buying stuff from uh, used, you know, places like garage sales, thrift stores, wherever you can buy stuff cheap and just listing it online for sale, especially during these times during um, this pandemic and all that, people losing their jobs and stuff. It's really a tangible way to make some more money. Uh, and I really think like a lot of people, if they start you know just doing this on the side they can make some extra income that can really help themselves and their family uh through these times so it's um it's definitely something that uh i think is pretty cool so yeah let's keep going here and see what else we've got um okay we've got a suit nice suit just scrunched up in there should probably have that on a hanger um, I think this is caliber or calibre however you pronounce this brand i never really know how to pronounce it but it, um, it brings in some nice cash, especially a slim fit suit like this. It's like one of the most ideal sort of ones. Uh, it's a nice suit. Now it's got the pants here as well. So it's like a navy blue with the pants. Uh, and let's see what it brings on eBay. So we've got Calibre, Calibre suit, or we'll go slim fit suit see what's happening okay so these are some of the ones that are listed right now there's my listing this is actually listed for 150 so what i might do uh is probably put it up for like 100 bucks or something because it's maybe a bit expensive but 299 new shirt new uh suit um yeah so i think my price is a, a little higher there like a normal, not slim fit, 75 bucks. So maybe like 100 is pretty realistic if you want to get a quick sale. Um, but, you know, we'll see. Um, anywhere from that 100 to 70 bucks to 150 if you really want to wait. All right, what else have we got here? Ugh. 
Okay. Um, all right, so we've got another Titleist. Uh, Foot Joy, long sleeve. I picked a heap of these up. Uh, paid like a five bucks or something for each one of these. Um, that's the Titleist logo right there. Foot Joy, some cool stuff right there. Um, now this is, uh, again, it's gonna be repetitive, but let's type in Foot Joy, long sleeve. Title list. I just butchered that. There we go. I've sold one here. That's my listing. Proof in the pudding. It's my listing because that is my pink yoga mat right there. Purple, pink, whatever you want to call it. So that's definitely my listing. Um, we got, uh, I think, an offer maybe of 90 bucks. I had it listed for 99. And it's a different color. It's like a light blue. This is the dark blue option. So we can list that again for 99 and see how we go with that one. Now, this is a pretty interesting item. I've had this for so damn long. Um, when I was like in the beginning stages of thrifting, I heard about uh, Levi's, all right, let's see if we can get this. Levi's Big E. Levi's Big E was a thing, right? Like if you get that capital E, apparently it's worth heaps. Uh, good friend, the college picker, uh, he picked up like this really nice vintage jacket, shout out to CP, with the Big E, and he sold it for heaps, but I've been like trying to list these on Etsy with the big E sort of marketing and stuff, you know what I mean? And no one's brought it. I've listed it about a dozen times. So I guess I'm going to do research right now and, and see like what's going to happen here with this. But you know, we might try and sell these again and see what we can get for them. So it's going to be a shot in the dark here. I really don't know if we're going to get any results at all. But let's just type in Levi's big E jeans and see what we get here. Now, I don't believe they're like that special denim, um, recycled denim or whatever it's called. Uh, interesting, so you got the vintage jacket. Yeah, red line is what it's called. Um, salvage denim, sorry. Salvage denim, it has like the red along the inside there. That isn't what we have here, it's just regular denim. Um, so, you know, we might be able to get, I don't know, guys. It's really, it's really, okay. So, no big E, no red line. <laughs> and they sold it for 200 um, And I don't know what model these are. 582s, made in Australia. So, I might have to do more research, maybe on like Etsy or something like that. I don't know. I just want to get the eBay business going. So, this will be all sold on eBay. But let's just type in like Levi's 582 jeans and see what comes up there. Okay, interesting. So just regular ones are selling for like 20 bucks. Uh, and I assume these aren't big E. Really, guys, I could probably sell them for 50. Or I could like just wait it out and put it up for 200 again and hopefully someone buys it because they dig the big E. But really, it's so hard to tell. Um, like the research there for that one is needed immensely. Uh, but I don't know. We'll just shoot for the moon and hope someone buys it. Okay, next piece we've got here, guys, is a Ralph Lauren. Ralph Lauren Jeans Co. Sort of uh, like a wool knitted jacket. <laughs> Can't speak. It's got the RL logo there. And it's got like a... Uh, Old school logo right there as well. RL Polo, Ralph Lauren, 69. So let's, uh, 67, 60, 60 something. And um, we'll, we'll type in Polo Jeans Co. This, this is from my knowledge base that's quite probably outdated. Uh -huh. Polo Jeans is like the cheaper version of Ralph Lauren stuff. But let's just see. What do we got here? This is a jacket. Let's see the potential for this one. Okay, interesting. Yeah, people, uh, that's pretty pretty nice, that one. It's got the cool uh, flag on the sleeve and stuff, 200 bucks. Um, and that looks like kids' clothing. So, you know, guys, uh, from the very little amount of options we have here, I would have to take a guess. But let's just see if anyone's just selling stuff 
Um, okay, so that guy's already listed that. Okay, interesting. Yeah, so it's really not worth much at all, guys. Maybe like 20 bucks, 50 bucks, somewhere around there. I'll probably list it for that and hopefully someone buys it, but... Uh, you know, something that probably wouldn't buy and wouldn't recommend to pick up in a thrift. Okay, jeans. We've got the G-Star. G-Star Raw. Oh, the good old G-Stars. All right, this is a good brand. So, G-Star Raw. These jeans are the Bronson Chinos. You can tell by the tag in there. It says the Bronson Chinos. So... They have like a tapered sort of twisted bottom, give you that interesting sort of style. But let's look up G-Star Raw. Bronson Chinos. It retails, you know, 100 buck retail. And let's see what the solds are like. Okay. Interesting. So maybe like 30 bucks, I don't know guys, <laughs> 50, something like that, you know, we'll just chuck them up to 30, something like that. Actually got a backpack here, the good old Jansport backpacks. This has like been a, an old beater of mine, uh, it has the custom pink um, thingo majigo. <laughs> Uh, I don't even know if I want to sell this, to be honest. Uh, it comes free with a bank statement. And wrecked pen. I'm sure that will come in handy for someone. Uh, let's have a look. I mean, like, who would want to buy it? I think they're pretty cheap as they are, really. Well, let's have another quick look. I remember back, like, a while back, I picked up, like, a whole set of Jan Star, Jan Sport backpacks. All brand new tags, which was pretty sick. Um, cool to sell those over some time. But really, guys, I'm not sure you're going to get much for some used Gen Sport backpack. Interesting. All right. Um, let's go to used and see what's what's happening. Oh, sick. Like the trekking backpack. That's pretty dope. You know, nice clean options. It's barely worth listing. <laughs> uh, 20 bucks. 20 bucks. You want to take it 20 bucks? It's money. It's free money. It's just sitting in the house collecting dust. Chuck it on eBay. 20 bucks. 15 bucks. Whatever you want. All right. Some more stuff here, guys. We're working through this. Um, some Phoenix Suns um, jacket. Really lightweight sort of windbreaker. Starter jacket. I'm not sure if it is vintage. It might be vintage. I think it might be. Starter, size small, with the starter on the back, and the Phoenix Suns logo, pretty dope, vintage looking logo, I like it, it remind, so I might keep this to be honest guys, I'm digging it, Suns, the Suns in the pocket, that's pretty sick, actually I want to try this on, oh sick, um, Okay, let's see what they're asking. eBay, what do we got? Phoenix, I can't spell Phoenix. Phoenix, Phoenix Suns starter. Let's see what's happening. They'll probably throw back hats and stuff. Yeah, there we go. All right, um, I probably should put jacket in there, but there's not many results as it is over here in Australia. Nice, vintage. That's pretty sick. Crew neck in the in the States sold for 60 bucks. It's a vintage. We might try 50, something like that for this jacket or this windbreaker. There we go. 28. But in Australia, it has to reach high demand, right? People who dig starter stuff. It's so harder to find the starter in Australia. 65, an old track one sort of style. I'm going to... Yeah, that's dope. Look at that. 145. It's got the Suns logo there. You know what, guys? We might try like... I'm probably going to try 50 or something for this one, but it's still a really nice pickup. Um, or I might just keep it. It's even got the starter logo right there too. Actually, this is really dope. 
All right, let's keep looking. Uh, oh yeah, I remember picking this up. He Groves number eight, Crazy John's um, Dragons NBL jersey in a size size medium. It's pretty sick. It's got the Groves number eight on the back. I sold one of these previously, some other players one, um, for some cash, which is pretty sick. But let's have a look. It's the combat ramp. So we'll type in dragons. See what's happening. Okay, as expected, nothing. <clears throat> Maybe it's because I'm doing jersey. Let's do dragons. Dragons, NBL, something like that. Should throw back a result. There we go, signed, 40 bucks. There we go, 99 bucks, number seven. Um, I sold, the other one I sold was a used, well, they've got new other, I think it's actually used and it's a replica too. See, this is legit, it's, it's actually vintage with the logo and everything, so the one that sold for 99 on an offer had no like tag, it was just replica. This is actual vintage, legit stuff we've got here, guys. So we could do 99 for this. Let me know if you want it. <laughs> All right, um, there was this time back when I picked up a bulk lot of Red Hot Chili Pepper t-shirts. Um, they're Arcadium or Stadium, Arcadium shirts. And these are so small. Like, look how small these tees are, right? Uh, they got like the back there, 2007 is it? Um, they're like a size small, but they're made in Japan. So the small is like really, really small. Um, but, you know, I think um, when I last did some research, like 20 bucks for each of these or something like that. And I think I've got a couple more actually just somewhere in here. Uh, you know what? I might have to do... Maybe like a part two to this, because there's so much stuff here, guys. Got another Foot Joy long sleeve. Um, it's not Titleist or anything, so you could probably get, I know it was like 99 or whatever for that other long sleeve. So um, from the research from that one, you know, you could probably do like 80 or something like that. I don't know, just create the, your own market really. Just whatever someone's gonna pay for it, right? It's got the Optus logo right there. Um, and a Bistro sponsorship logo right there as well. And the PDGC logo right there. Uh, I don't know, I think 80 bucks or something like that's realistic. Or it's down to as low as 50 bucks. Uh, what do we got here? Interesting, Paul and Shark t-shirt. Uh, I really dig this brand, I love this brand. They, like... Back in the day, like when I first started thrifting and I discovered this brand, it sold for a bank. Like, it was very rarely on eBay and whenever it was on there, it would sell quick and it was really good. But for some reason, it's sort of, you gotta get the right stuff, I guess. Just like any brand, really. But, um, Pull and Shark, really nice. 4XL. So it's a huge t-shirt. Um, there's definitely a demand for bigger t-shirts that you could ask a lot more. I know it's pretty unethical. Poor fellas, like who, whoever wanted to buy it, they got to pay up for a bigger t-shirt, but it, you know, makes sense. More fabric costs more, I guess, but um, you could probably sell this for 50, and that's just my guess, but let's jump over to good old trusty eBay. And we'll type in Paul Shark shirt. Again, the thing is, like with this research and stuff, you really just got to base it off lookalike items or items that are pretty similar. Because you can't, sometimes it's hard to find the exact items. Like there's a t-shirt there, size large, sold for 38 bucks. Um, and then you got polos for 50. The long sleeves. Uh, some of the long sleeve stuff that looks really nice and it's fashionable, sells good. 35 bucks for that polo. 26, you know, so 37. So I really think it's realistic to ask 50 for a 4XL. 49, 39. Um, yeah, that's my take. Uh, let's have a look at this uh, <clears throat> Red Hot Chili Peppers shirt. Red Hot Chili Peppers. They do some songs, some good songs, I tell you. Red Hot Chili Peppers. 
Is. Okay. Nice. Check it. Oh, my God. Loves it. Loves it. Oh, that looks so sick. Hang on. Let's check this out. Dude, this is one of the things I'm super passionate about. When I get back into thrifting, it's going to be about the vintage T-shirt game. Oh, my God. Look at that. Picking up something like this in the thrift, you just get that sensation. That's one of the things I love about thrifting is that thrill of the hunt, that feeling that you get inside the, the pit gut of your stomach when you find something truly rare and amazing that has been underappreciated sitting in a, a used store sold selling for $5, you know, and you pick it up and it's worth $200, $300, $500. It's just like... You feel like you've won at, at the game of you of like the game of the universe. You know what I mean? It's amazing. But anyway, uh, this is pretty dope. One hot minute, loves it. Yeah, that is sick. That's what that's what I live for. Vintage T-shirts. That's gonna be one of the niches. Oh, I can't wait to get thrifting. Anyway, let's see if we can find the T-shirt we have. See, a lot of these are just like mass-produced ones. But I, God damn! Look at that T-shirt. That is so fire. Like literally, that is sick. Five hundred dollars for a vintage T-shirt. God damn! That's what I love about this. Oh man, so sick. And the the problem is, I probably wouldn't even list it on eBay because it's so dope looking. You just wear it anyway, guys. I really think you could get like fifth. Uh, <coughs> sorry, twenty bucks or something for you know. This kind of t-shirt. All right, check this out. Um, this is a thrift store just down the road here, actually. <clears throat> Rarely ever go there because there's barely anything. But kangaroos, I guess footy season's semi-back. It's back. And there's actually... It's going to be sick because there's demand for it, right? So I might chuck this up um, if it's not already. But it's vintage. Um... It's got the old school, almost VFL logo there. Kangaroos at the front, kangaroos at the back, but also at the back, two signatures of players. One of them was off Big Brother, I think. He was a contestant on Big Brother, I forgot his name. And then the other one is Drew Petrie. So he was a key star forward for the Kangas back in the day. And that's his signature right there. So that adds some value right there. I really think, you know, hundred dollars plus for this is really realistic um, vintage let alone should bring demand you know um, and kangaroos it's like I'm a bummer myself but kangaroos it's just the most iconic Aussie footy team right there let's check and see if I haven't got it up for sale anyway so let's go vintage kangaroos AFL I put jumper or whatever, but it might come back with actual jerseys. That's also another thing I love is picking up these old school um, AFL, VFL jerseys. So let's jump into the shoes that we've got here, guys. So got some high fashion sneakers with the Vibram soles on the bottom. Uh, most of this stuff, to be honest, guys, is just like <clears throat> things that have been taking a while to sell or that I really haven't gotten around to selling way back when I was thrifting and stuff. But anyway, uh, feet, I think it is, feet. Let's uh, check out these shoes and see how good they are. Let's see. High fashion. High fashion. Check it out. 175 bucks right there. Now, they're a bit different style than what I have right here, but they're handmade, legit, like really good quality shoes. As you can tell by Vibram Souls, like Vibram is like an industry leader standard thing. And most shoes that have those soles are really high quality. And they're really pristine. Barely being worn, these shoes. But let's have a look at these and look a bit closer. They're the counter ones, and these are a counter two. So first installment, counter, get the sunlight happening, counter two right there. They're really nice, fresh looking shoes. Size US 13 is pretty big, but let's have a look at these brown ones. Oh, there we go. I think they're, they're even my listings. <laughs> no joke. <coughs> there it is. It's my listing, 100 bucks that I have it for sale. But these ones sold for 175 Truly amazing. 
They're the first ones. So you, obviously the first installment ones, I believe, bring in a bit more demand. Second installment. Counter one, second installment. These are counter two, first installment. But, you know, around that $100 mark is what I have, enough, have them up for sale at the moment. Right, shoes, shoes, shoes. All right, check it out. We've got some Adidas. Adidas. Uh, I forget what these are, to be honest. Let's, um, all the sneaker heads would be like, I know what those are. But, um, I uh, forget. I'm going to look up the model number and we'll see what we've got here, guys. So on the inside, you'll see an ART followed by some letters and numbers and that will give you the information. And then followed by the brand. Should throw back... Alex, Alexander Wang, that's the one. So these are Adidas, AW, B-Ball, Low, Alex, Alexander Wang, shoes, new in box for 250 US dollars. Let's just copy this one. And we'll paste that into our eBay complete listing search results and see what happens. Let's just go Alexander Wayne. It's probably going to throw back some other results, but we'll see what we can. Oh, nice. $170. That's pretty sick. $170 pair of shoes. I would never hoop in. Look at me. I'm a cool kid. Oh, gosh. That's my listing right there. See, I need, I need to work on my game, don't I, guys? Those photos aren't the brightest. So... That, that, again, is another item listed. So this is supposed to be a video about me uh, working through items that I don't have listed, but I'm actually going through the items that are listed. <clears throat> All right, this is an interesting, cool, different item. We've got a wetsuit, rip curl, good old rip curl. Rip curl, rip curl, good old rip curl, rip curl, wetsuits, Aussie brand, I've actually got the book, no I don't, I actually got rid of it, but I had the book, I've read the book, oh, it's amazing how this brand started, anyway, size medium, uh, wetsuit, let's see, it's got the YKK, really good quality zips, fairly good condition, it is the vintage. You can just tell it's it's got that 90s vibe, you know, with those fluoro patterned colours. Looking pretty dope. But um, let's have a look and see what the old school rip curl wetsuits are coming in at. Also, guys, let me know if you like this style of video. It's been a while since I've done thrifting related videos. Leave a comment down below if you liked it. Um, and, uh, and if you want more of these videos, let me know. Also hit the like button, helps me with the YouTube slash Google algorithm, helps get the videos out to people who are interested in the thrifting niche and all that kind of stuff. But um, I might cut it short after we do some research on this wetsuit and come back to you guys with a part two of this video and we'll keep going through this mess that I've created behind me and see what else we have there. Um, it should be interesting. So let's just quickly go to pre-owned. And sold items and see what we could get for a, a vintage style wetsuit. So the E-Bomb Pro wetsuits bring in pretty good money. They're nice wetsuits. Now, we've got some really good results here. This is definitely a good item to look out for in the thrift. But let's just pop in vintage and see what we've got. Okay, 50. See if you're in if you're in and if you're in America, and you find this, pick it up because look, you get heaps heaps of cash for it. <laughs> but let's just have a look at this one here. Fifty bucks, I think, is pretty reasonable considering it's used condition, fairly used. Um, but I think this is pretty similar. It's got that vintage style logo. Yeah, not the best photos, kind of like me. <laughs> but it's pretty worn rip curl logo at the front. Um, I definitely think, you know, 50 bucks is realistic. You could probably get more 
you wanted to. You could probably get to 80 bucks or something around there for something like this. But anyway, guys, thank you for watching today's video. Pretty sick wetsuit and uh, I have a heap of stuff here still to go through. There's still that bag and some shoes back there. And that's barely what we got through today. So I might even like cut this into a few videos and see how we go. But hopefully you guys liked a bit of a thrifting style video. It's pretty interesting and fun for me to create this as well. It's been a while since I've been amongst it all. Uh, and I can't wait to get out there to the thrifts and stuff. It should be fun. But thank you guys for watching today's video. Give us a thumbs up. Comment down below. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.